Hey, welcome. In this video, I'm going to discuss five features of the M2 that I haven't seen discussed in other reviews of the M2. And this first segment requires a little explaining. One thing that surprised me when I started driving the M2 is when you first let off the brake, the car really wants to lurch forward. It's like it has this torque built up. And in this segment, you'll see how much it lurches forward when I just let off the brake. And when I attempt to modulate and ride the brake, listen to the noises that the brakes make. Another interesting situation with them too are presets. So here I am in my home screen and I can use, use the controller in the center console to go to various apps and check out different features of the car. Because I'm in Sirius right now is my audio source. And this took me a while to figure out. There are favorites and there are presets. If you go over here on the right, you can see you have the option to, uh, well, this is already a preset, so save a preset here or save a favorite. Um, but on the left, the only option are favorites. There's no preset option. So if you're saving them as presets, where do you find them? Well, it took me a little while to figure this one out. Preset is actually, uh, unlike most cars where that's just a button you hit somewhere, Preset is an audio source app. So you go to audio source and you have your regular audio sources here, AM, FM, Sirius, and then you have an audio source called Preset. And that's where your presets land. So if you want to go to Presets, you have to first click Audio Source, Presets, and then select your preset. So what I ended up doing is typically, uh, instead of saving as a preset, if I can get back now to the actual <laughs> audio, uh, that's right, I have to go back to source, I have to go back to Sirius, there we go, okay, that's right, I have to switch back to my Sirius source. Now I can go into my favorites. So apparently favorites are uh, channel specific or source specific uh, whereas pre presets because it's a separate uh, source app I assume that's cross sources I don't think I've ever had a car that did this when the radio is playing I now have the car off I get out close the door radio is still playing the, the car is off if I lock it, it then it shuts off the radio so now if I come back and open the door, once the welcome screen starts up again, still I'm not turning the car on. And the radio kicks up again. And the only way to stop it is either to close the door and lock it or hit this mute button right here. Okay, so imagine now it's later in the day and I'm walking out with my boss having a nice professional conversation and I open my car door and I'm just going to throw my backpack inside while we chat. And we're standing next to the car just talking and suddenly my radio starts playing again. Well, now I have to quickly reach in and hit the mute button to turn it off so we can keep talking or I have to quickly close the door Wait, it's still playing, so I have to hit the lock button. Now it cuts off. So when I shot that previous segment, my wife watched it and immediately said, what about, hey, BMW? Hey, BMW, radio off. Sure. On television today. And now it's off. Another interesting feature in the M2 starts right here in the center console. Behind this carbon fiber cover, you have your cup holders, your 12 volt, your USB connection, and then you have this little pad back here. It looks like a phone charging pad, uh, but it's not. What that is for, it's for this little card. Um, it's a little carbon fiber card. It's in the plastic right now. And what this allows you to do if you're doing something outdoors or do something where you don't want to carry your keys you can carry this card with you and if you set it here 
it lets you do everything with the car that your key would allow you to do. Start, drive, etc. So this is an electronic key card that mimics your keys, and it means you don't have to have your keys with you if you have this card. I'm not sure if I'd ever actually use it. And really, BMW, why didn't you just make this a charging pad for the phone? Wouldn't that have been easy? To demonstrate this next feature of the M2 that I like, I have to start in my wife's SUV. And that feature is the home link system and how it works in the M2. For most home link systems that I've used, in order to activate the garage door, you have to press and hold the button. If I just press it once, it's not doing anything. But if I press and hold it, now the garage door starts to move. Whereas in the M2, in order to activate the home link system, all you have to do is press the button once, the green light flashes, and it operates the garage door. Press it again, green light flashes, and it operates the garage door. You don't have to press and hold the button. The funny thing is, I was going to demonstrate this with the Shelby instead of my wife's SUV, but it turns out that the Shelby does it the same way as the BMW. All you have to do is press the button once, and it works. You don't have to hold it. And this whole time I've been holding it. I guess old habits die hard.